This week on The Crypto Planet, a mascot, some heavy metal, and a crypto rookie. They all made the news in the world of crypto. So here we go for a news roundup with 7 Days in Crypto. Where will it end? Bitcoin to the moon again. The cryptocurrency reached an all-time high once again on Wednesday, $68,925. One person who has faith that it will rise again is Tim Cook, who has bitten into Bitcoin. During an online conference by the New York Times, Do, do you own crypto and any Bitcoin or Ethereum? Would you play around with this? The business rookie made a stunning confession. I, I do, yeah. <gasps> But hold on, you can't buy your future iPhones with Bitcoin yet. I'm not planning to in the immediate future to take crypto for our products. Tim Cook has put the brakes on that hope. So his earlier investment revelation was strictly personal. I think it's reasonable to own it as a, as a part of a diversified portfolio. And I'm not giving anybody uh, investment advice, by the way. You have to be careful. They didn't need any encouragement. On the other side of the country, political bigwigs have already dipped their toes into the cryptoverse. The mayors of several major cities on the US East Coast are competing in a Bitcoin gold rush. A new mayor, new ideas. There's a heavyweight crypto political threesome. Eric Adams, the newly elected New York mayor, announced shortly after his victory that he was willing to accept his salary in Bitcoin. Miami mayor Francis Suarez had been in the lead of the crypto race as the first city boss to make such an announcement. Lots of new stuff. Now it's Tampa Bay's mayor who's in the Bitcoin salary game. Blockchain is the future of transactions without a doubt. The mayor of Jackson is also keen. So actually, they're four in the running for the race for coolest mayor. I hope, I hope, it's home from work we go. Will one of them drop out and retire sooner than expected? Possible. 4% of American workers have over the last 12 months. <laughs> According to Civic Science data, 6 million people decided to switch things up following their crypto investments. A new American way of life? Who knows, you could be next. Heading to Japan now. Clara Delevingne, Emma Watson, Vladimir Putin, Richard Gere. They're all high profile lovers of Shiba Inu dogs, the barking kind. Now that the lovely little dogs also become a cryptocurrency mascot and a mega investment success story, the demand for the fox lookalike doggo has more than tripled in just a month. It's totally unrealistic. After the coin's value rose by a staggering 800% in October, it's now easier to get crypto Shiba than a real what? one. Back to the US. Storm in a teacup in junk food paradise. Jack in the Box, the famous 70-year-old quick-serve burger company, is suing FTX, the cryptocurrency exchange, for allegedly brazenly and illegally copying its mascot with its new face of the company, Moon Man. He took my essence. A lawsuit's recently been filed in the Southern District Court of California. It says that the characters are strikingly similar in both appearance and behavior, and that it could cause Jack in the Box considerable economic damage and irreparable harm. Can't we all just get along? Maybe Moon Man and Jack could thrash it out over a burger. What are you gonna do? We end this weekly tour in Finland, where Slipknot is as popular as ever. Shut the fuck up! The famous heavy metal band has also been seduced by the charms of the NFT market. Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I'm a genius. The devilishly masked Des Moines group has just released nine exclusive songs as NFTs on their newborn website, thechapeltownrag.com. Though each token already seems to be sold out, a link leads you to the Wax blockchain, recently used by groups such as Megadeth and Baby Metal to sell NFTs. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything in common. The alchemists are turning heavy metal into crypto gold. Well, that's it. Seven Days in Crypto is over. We'll see you next week for a new tour of crypto news.